Civil War season. Well, this season will be completely different from other seasons as there won't be any villains. Instead, the ninja team will be divided into two groups. The first group will consist of Lloyd, Jay, and Nia, and they think that they should give the villains a second chance before they throw them in jail for life. But Cole, Kai, and Zay think that this shouldn't happen because they might not be worthy of their trust, and they might cause huge problems. Lloyd and Cole will be the main characters and the leaders of each team. Kai will have a story with his parents about this conflict, and Zay, and Zay, and Jay, and Nia will have smaller roles. Pretty cool season. A season that tells the story of the first Benjutsu master since he was born until he died. It will also know. Uh, it will also show the war between the Oni and Dragons. More of Wu and Garamdo when they were young, and show us the reason to why Forbidden Benjutsu was created, and the whole fight between the first Benjutsu master and the Overlord. My season concept is based on Injogen mythology, something touched on only in one scene in season eight where Nia mentioned a storm spirit named Wohira that was worshipped by ancient Ninjagan tribes. In summary, the season would expand on what the elemental masters can do with their powers. Dr. Smythe, who is like an evil clutch powers, searches for an ancient artifact that can grant people elemental powers. But on his first attempt to steal it from the Ninjago Museum of History, the ninjas stop him. Hellbent at revenge and with the sudden reappearance of the Time Twins and the Overlord, Dr. Smythe gathers every villain the ninja have faced. After successfully reclaiming the artifact from its new location in Borg Tower's underground vault, Klaus and the Skull Sorcerer grant Smite's new henchmen every elemental power in existence, and together, the villains reorganize the realm of Ninjago into their own dark empire. Going further, the season would revolve around the ninja fighting an elemental war over a year, and learning to use their powers in new ways by the example of the spirits, the first elemental masters. For instance, taking influence from Avatar The Last Airbender, Nia could learn to control people's bodies using their blood. That would be dark, but it checks out. Ideally, to give each ninja character development and explore the events of the war, the season would be 26-22 minute episodes, the length of seasons 1 and 2 combined. What would be my Ninjago dream season for the Ninjago series? I would like to see a season of the ninja going to a bunch of different realms in one season and exploring those and then helping whoever like i want to see a Ni ninjago and chima crossover or like i want to see the ninja go to chima and then go check up on chima and see what's happening in there or i just want to see another season where the ninja go see what's happening in other realms because you lloyd got to see the other realms in season five so i'd like them to go see the realms and see what they look like and just you know just to finish and see what all the realms are i just thought that'd be very cool and another detail i'd probably want to see is i want to see some more story development for other characters besides the ninja like i don't know i'd like to see kind of like a pixel season give her or it doesn't have to be a season but just a few episodes giving her a focus her little story and maybe seeing what happened to okino and all those season 12 characters see how they're doing in ninjago and you know just a kind of like a checkup season if that makes sense if you get what i mean my season concept is that Wu dies and the ninja new do not know what to do without him so they ask garmadon to help while they are away a new threat emerges the general stone a stone warrior scout that was not destroyed during the split of the islands the general of stone gathers past gathers past enemies of the ninja and giving them this potion from the stone war making them super powerful the ninja have a tough villain to stop a time travel season this should also be the final season 40 years in the future when Wu died and the ninja became old and have children the time twins will come back and they will open a portal to the past the ninja should enter this portal and re-witness all their previous adventures or season for us to collect the parts that will destroy the Time Twins mech. Meanwhile, their children are resisting the Time Twins in the present.